Hi, my beautiful angels. Step up. Oh. You hiding. There's a secret. Patience is key. I forgot whose reading this was. I feel like it, it's going together. When um, somebody had to wait till whatever they're holding on, whatever truth or whatever um, answer or secret they found, they need to hold on to that to the right time. I had a reading like that of somebody having to hold some truth or like, you know, because... I don't know why I say, you know, savings, put it in your savings, put it in your savings. I feel like this is a, con like this, this has something to do with that. Because I just had a flashback on that. I don't know why, running away scheme, definitely. I forgot who was reading that was. Childhood strange. Let me see. Something is dying. Oh, you need to put an end to an addiction. Uh, you are addicted to somebody. Like you need to put an end to it. And this is like a warning. Uh, he is a demon and he is bewitched. Literally. He is trying to steal, steal you. You are addicted to somebody that is that is attached to the to some demonic works, to a demonic world, and he wants to be with you. You had a spiritual encounter in the midst of him trying to attach himself to you. Because he is addicted to you too. And there is a lot of problems going on with, between the two of you. Oh. He is sick. I do see you trying to clear of, stay clear of this energy, making peace with your past. Just like close the door, Papa. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door, please. Making peace with your past behind closed doors. Do you still have me in your energy? This is a cancer. Oh, but you're the plug, though. You know what's good. He's trying to change you, and you're not a kiss ass. He got, oh, he got sick fantasies. Oh, my gosh. This boy or oh, this ma'am that you're dealing with, he has children on the, dark, on the dark side. So, he was attached to a lot of different other ladies before you. So he knows he knows how to, to work in that world very well. Um, she got a whole lot of sick fantasies of, about you, cause you want to plug. Like what plug? What are you connected to? He wants you to change, but you are resisting that change. Like you got some support. 
You got some support. He wants you to be a kid's ass. I feel like in a way he is. You are spoiled. And you have a whole lot of patience. Bro. Oh my gosh. It's like you tempted. It's like you tempted. Oh, you did not fail. He didn't know who you were. What you were about. What you stood for before he tried you. He was just too worried about his fantasies. Fulfillment. Fulfillment. Fulfilling his fantasies. He probably work in a warehouse. I don't know. Something about this. This was definitely your ex, and now he having some type of nightmares about you. He's having a whole lot of nightmares because whatever this world he tried to bring you in, you were somehow his piece, and now you're no longer there. He has mental illness, family issues. Oh yeah, both have some family issues. Maybe that's how he tried generational issues. That y'all could compare yourself to. And he tried to somehow use that against you. Or use that for you to. I don't know. This this energy right here making me have a headache. Making me tap in too far. <laughs> too far. You the plug. You the plug. Let me see if I could get something from like. What are you the plug of? sociopaths you were dealing with sociopaths that had a whole lot of sick fantasies about you i don't know about illness he was sick sick in the mind sick definitely sick mm. but he did love you though he did care about you once upon a time. He did. But you saw his demons way before he was able to throw them at you. <laughs> you saw his demons. How he behind bars? He locked up. Oh, he, he has issues with the law. He got the purple on his behind. Wow, situation. Patience. Stay true to yourself. Stay true to yourself. He is definitely behind bars. He is facing judgment for whatever he did to you. Or oh, he's just facing judgment. He played a lot of mind tricks and mind games on you. Mm, I'm talking to a divine fem a feminine energy right now. Keep in mind that... Why is this so dark? Keep in mind that as humans, as human beings... With spiritual, with a living soul and a living spirit within us, we both walk with both energies: a feminine energy and a masculine um, energy. It doesn't matter if you are a, a woman physically; you could be walking using divine masculine energy. So I am talking to somebody that walks, works, walks, use feminine energy. <sighs> I think that's it. Any more message? There was definitely some voodoo use in here. What's going on, Papa? What's wrong? Something about the way you eat, nutrition. Something about food. Something about food. <laughs> Maybe you, maybe food was used as 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 spell work. Food was used a uh, was used as a way like a uh a, a, like a, a entrance a poured way. Oh, please! I love you. Food was definitely used as a way to to have the spiritual. Um, situation happened. He's using food. That's how he's he's doing these things to you. But don't feed in his energy, though. Don't feed in the energy. All right. Anything else? Anything else? 
this way. Close my door, please. You're the plug. Plug came my twice. There is something about you. I can't get my finger on. There's a Pisces in here. Do some more self work, soul work, and all that. You should be able to find out. You know? Or you keep that between you and God and keep let God keep working on you. However you wanna let it resonate. It's your girl Maiva, aka Melly. Thank you for watching my reading today. Time will come for us to meet again. Stay blessed.